Twelve dreams for the Red Queen under crown of stone. Eight voracious beasts born from eight restless nights. Four nails piercing the flesh of the sinner. One prayer for the summoned called by this song. Tis perhaps the countdown to oblivion for the once proud city of London. Tis perchance her inhabitants last dance alone to face death and pestilence. Confronted by the eerie and unknown, mortals became desperate for answers. A flock's flight makes for an omen, the falling of a star, a dire presage. Turning to priests for interpretation when there was no reason to be found. When religion failed, men turned to science. I saw them build such vain cities, crafting machines made for endless war. New questions flourished as old answers withered. What is darkness? but lurking sun? What is wall but enslaved stone? What is glass but tortured sand? What is song but a call to arms? What is hate but jilted love? What is life but death pending? Death. Since the apple was plucked from the sacred tree, mortality was believed to be God's punishment. A righteous snare to keep mankind from ascending to the stars. They were all so wrong. Death is not a wicked thing, nor some holy retribution. A true punishment would be to never know its sweet Awaken from the harshness and be born once more.
It's a nightmare. No! Please, a moment, let me explain! These patrols are after me. Excellent! Kill him! No! No! Don't shoot! This is a nightmare. I need to get out of here. This can't be happening. There's one of those vermin. No! Please! Stop! I mean you no harm. Oh, Mary. What have I done? What's all this about? Shit, where'd it come? Now, I can defend myself. Don't let it out to your side! Who are you? Stay back! Sorry, but you left me no choice. Who are you, stupid beast? <laughs> Don't lie, burn! Sorry. Please, stop! Who are you? No! What do you want? I mean you no harm. I, I need help. Die, you fucking leech! Please. Listen to me. I can't make any sense of this. Shut up, beast! Who are you? What is this all about? Ah! ah what in God's sake? I'll do the rest ah, of the job. Ah, ah, just, just leave me. Ah, 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 ah. The sun it feels like it's burning me to the bone. I need to find somewhere to hide. Right now. Them, Let me go! I need to find shelter. Is anybody there? The place seems abandoned. I should be safe enough here. I can almost feel the sun's rays like a physical weight pressing against the wood. I can almost feel the sun's rays like a physical weight pressing against the wood. Whoever did this to us, I will find them.
The sun is high. I cannot leave now. much to accomplish. <sighs> I still have so much left that needs doing. This one's dressed up fancy. Let's run through his pockets. Picking the dead's pockets? Are you serious? I've still a rent to pay. He's got no more responsibilities. What's this? Go watch. Beautiful it is. We fancy it and share the takings. <laughs> I suppose we are undertakers. <laughs> now, give him a leave. lost. We need to leave. And now! No. There's time. I can save him. That's the enemy coming! The orders are to evacuate the hospital! <sighs> Done. He'll live. And now what? We fight. Killing is a hell of a lot easier than healing. It never got easy. This makes no sense. 
None of it. No sense at all. It's a nightmare. That's it. So be it. This is absolute madness. I've lost touch with the real. Madness it is. As mad as the moon. Contains blinding sunlight into a glowing flesh. Voice in my head. If I'm not mad, then it must belong to the one who. made me what I am. I must find him to understand what I have become. Where is it? It's closed. These people want me dead. I need to leave now. Here's the leech. Here! My head's spinning.
I'm still in Southwark. I must reach the West End. Die, Vanny! The strength. The strength I never knew I had. See that fancy clothes? This one's a top. This shouldn't be possible. I see one of every fiber of my being is a fire. My poor sister. If only I had controlled my need for blood. Mary, someone will pay for what happened to you. For what happened to us. It's locked, all right. Dizziness from the jump. I can now control it. The man has been drained of all blood, but I can still smell the scent of it. I follow the scent's trail. Perhaps it will lead me to my assailant. Fresh blood. The smell is so strong. Where has everyone gone? According to the blood patterns, that's where the victim was attacked. So that must be the killer's trail. At last, a little life. Whoever he may be. Good evening, sir. I wondered if I could ask for your help. Wow, you look like you need a drink. Yes. I apologize for my outfit. It's been... It's been a long night. Been there, seen that. Don't worry, things can only get worse. Has anybody entered the bar recently? Can't say. Sorry. I spent the night making love to that gorgeous bowl, see? This is important, sir. Are you sure no one has come in here in the last few hours? I don't know and I don't care. This is a free country. People still have the right to come and go, don't they? I'll leave you to your bottle, then. Are they stupid or something? I've never even been to India. Hello, sir. Are you all right? Is there any way I can help you? I don't know. Maybe you could just talk to me. Maybe you prefer to speak with Tom, then. 
He's more agreeable talking to strangers. What's going on around here? Where is everyone? Too many dead, sir. First the epidemic, and now all these terrible murders. What have you heard about the epidemic? It's a Spanish flu. Yeah. Killed so many last summer. Thought we'd seen the last of it. Dozens dying every week. Are the authorities doing anything? Nothing. There are so many quarantine zones in London now. It's gotten really hard to travel across town. I'll leave then. Thank you. Hello, sir. Are you all right? Is there any way I can help you? I don't know. May Maybe you prefer to speak with Tom then. He's more agreeable talking to strangers. I'll leave then. Thank you. Them wet boot boys get what's coming to them. Not long ago, this oh god, man. sir, you look like Jonah's whale just spat you out of hell. Can I get you a drink? No, thank you. I'm not, not thirsty. Well, grab a chair and get some rest. This is going to be another long night. I'm looking for someone who might have passed through here recently. Wondered if you might help. It's been quiet tonight. The only other person I've seen went straight up to his room. <laughs> Thought it was kind of rude, actually. You mean he's still here? Well, yeah. He paid for the entire week. How long has he been here? He rented the room a few days ago and didn't say when he'd leave. Who is this man? What does he look like? Well, like a gentleman, I guess. Well dressed, quite polite. A professor or something fancy like that. Always writing, reading notes. I need to meet this man. I have. Questions. Just climb the stairs and knock on the first door. I heard him open his window, so I guess he's still awake. And, sir, uh, yes? no funny business, you hear me? This is a respectable establishment. <coughs> I hope I live long enough to see them wet boot boys get what's coming to them. There's gotta be something can be done to get out of this bullshit mess. Trolls roaming the area. They do not pursue me. But they're looking for vampires, and they're most efficient. They'll not relent until the killer has been identified. I have a common objective, but I require. Shh. I think someone is eavesdropping. Are you certain? You might as well come in, whoever you are. Slowly, vampire! <laughs> Who are you? I mean you no harm, saith the vampire. Present yourself! I... I need a word. With anyone. That's something I can do for you. <sighs> A 
And who might you be? Tell me, who are you? First, tell me what you want. Then I may tell you. That's none of your concern. Sir, you have entered my room in the middle of the night, pale as a corpse and shaking like a tree. So please, indulge me. Something, someone, is molesting people. In fact, killing them. Biting them. The calling card of a vampire. Like you. You seem the expert. How would that be? I have my secrets, as you have yours. Then if you are not a vampire, who or what are you? Dr. Edgar Swansea of the Brotherhood of St. Paul. I am performing an independent investigation here in an attempt to understand precisely what is going on. Then help me find the culprit. I may. If you'll first tell me why you opened this door. I followed a trail. The scent of blood from a recent victim. It led me here. You thought I was your aggressor. That explains a great deal. We are both chasing the same shadow. A shadow, indeed. Yet I heard his voice in my head. There was a moment I believed I was mad. You should let me handle this affair. You've no idea what you're up against. No. I will find the monster. He is mine. How will you do any better than I? But then let me ask you this. What are your intentions if you find the killer? I'll end him. Hmm. Then I can only wish you good hunting. And pray we shall meet again. If Swansea is not my attacker, it means somebody else came here tonight. Someone must know something. Can I have some privacy, please? There's got to be something can be done to get out I of this. I hope I live long enough to see them wet boot boys. Oh. Evening, sir. Can I help you? I have a few questions for you. <sighs> well, if you must. I spoke to Dr. Swansea. He's not the man I'm looking for. Now, I want the truth. The truth? What do you mean? I suspect that someone else was here tonight. And I don't think Tom wants to tell me about it. I'm just the barmaid here, okay? If Tom says you're the only visitor we had, then you're the only visitor we had. I can feel your fear, madam. Please, tell me what's going on. <sighs> it's Will. William Bishop. He came in here earlier tonight and he... Well, I thought he was going to clock someone. Tell me about this William Bishop. Will was a sailor who worked at the cannon factory before he lost that job. A nice bloke, really. He's never been violent. Until tonight. Why keep it a secret? Why not tell me about it? Tom's nothing if not loyal. After Will lost his job, he offered him one ear. 
They used to be good mates. But recently, well... Will started to get very aggressive. I see. Thank you for your candor. I'll be sure to talk to Tom. Hello, sir. May I disturb you again? And you're still ugly as sin. I'll leave you to your bottle, then. I should just run as far away from this place as I can. Welcome back. Did you find what you were after? I can't say I have. Are you sure no one else came into your bar before I arrived? Hey, I told you, you were the only other stranger I've had. Tom, talk to me about the visit from your old friend, William. Yes, Will came by tonight, but he's not my friend anymore. I need to find him. It's a matter of urgency. Do you know where he is? You could try his boat. It's up by the North Pier. He sleeps there when he's too drunk to get home. Please describe him to me. What'd you expect? He's a tall, sick bastard with a bad rash of torn old clothes. William used to be strong. Now he's a mess. Thank you, Tom. If you see him, tell him I don't want him back here unless he cleans up his act, okay? It's a good thing you cannot see me now, He didn't Mom. deserve this. I will get to the bottom of this intrigue. What's been done to me, to this city? The body is still warm. This man has just been drained of blood. This corpse has been dried of its blood, just like the previous victim. Blood and empty gin bottles. This bishop fellow is something of a heavy drinker. What's this? Some sort of note. Blood and empty gin bottles. This bishop fellow is something of a heavy drinker. This man was armed. He tried to defend himself. There are blood splats on the other side of the canal. I must reach that barge.
Last warning, sir. See them first one! Stupid beast! Ah, what an idiot! 